Back with the question, should they or shouldn't they? Daycare centers in Northeast Ohio trying to figure out if they will open at full capacity now that Governor DeWine has given the green light. As News 5's Amanda Van Allen tells us now, these businesses aren't the only ones trying to figure this all out. It's all fun and games until you have to make a huge decision. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Tierra Cannon is the mother of two young children who have been out of daycare since March. Her daughter was supposed to start preschool in the fall, but now she's not sure if she wants to send them back to daycare or school anytime soon. We set up our own room with our school supplies and everything, so teaching them our own things right now until we figure out what we're going to do. Cannon says she knows her kids and social distance likely won't happen. Not at all. It's not normal for a kid. Parents aren't the only ones who are conflicted. Daycare centers are worried about keeping everyone safe. Even places who have been doing this for months are still worried about increasing capacity and putting kids and staffers at risk. We've had a really successful summer. Um, we have uh, continued our cleaning protocols. Our staff have started wearing masks. That's Anna Thomas, the vice president of youth development at the YMCA of Greater Cleveland. We visited its Lakewood location a few months ago. They were using hula hoops and cones to help kids keep their distance. But now, like so many other daycares, they are not sure exactly what they will do. Keep the ratio as is, one adult per nine kids, or double it, as Governor Mike DeWine is now allowing. We're looking at some locations keeping that one to nine ratio uh, because we know it's the right thing to do and in other locations increasing um, to maybe a one to 12. Thomas says they are hoping to open more buildings to keep the numbers small. We're really thinking about having more locations. Uh, so at the um, height of the pandemic, we had eight locations open. Um, in the fall, we're looking to have 11. While protecting the kids, staff, and bottom line. The governor and the state just announced what the subsidy will be for, for child care programs that choose to stay at a one to nine ratio. Um, unfortunately, it's not an amount that we think would really help sustain us financially. Um, but of course, we want to keep those same stringent protocols in place. Over the next few weeks, daycare centers and parents alike will be making some tough choices, but the solidarity isn't making anything easier. I'm not sure right now what I'm going to do, if I'm going to send her back or not. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.